I think sometimes when you talk about BIM tools for the landscape design industry, I think a number of practitioners get a little bit of a glaze over their face. They go, oh, BIM is just for the building. You know, they, they take that B in BIM a little bit too literally. Visualization aside and creating a creating attractive model, my ability to extract information out of a BIM model uh, is, is crucial for, for my practice. I think it's a bit of a preconceived notion that folks who are kind of in the trenches in the landscape industry, the, the contractors, the landscape designers, you think, well, they must be using you know, some analog tools, they're, they're drawing by hand. You know, even in my own practice, I still do some things by hand, but they don't stay on paper beyond the beginning of the process. We'll, we'll work out some of, the, some of the fast and loose sketchy ideas. And as soon as we get the idea, that concept, the inspiration down on a sketchy piece of paper and toss some colored pencils on it and things like that, well, as soon as that happens, then I'll scan that thing into Vectorworks, scale it up, and the next thing you know, I'm designing a, a, a full-scale model within the program. Stockton Montmorency was developed back in 1937 as a private estate. It's a Georgian revival property. Uh, it had a, a barn on it, stables. As a matter of fact, the property was used for breeding racehorses for, for a number of decades from a prominent local family. There were protections on certain portions of the property, particularly uh, the parts that had the historic structures on them. Uh, and the natural resources uh, surrounding them. My client purchased this property to make it their home and to enjoy it. The conservation easements placed some challenges on what they could do specifically with the property. So we need to be very careful and sensitive as to how we planned those improvements out. One of the improvements that uh, they were very interested in creating was a pond. We used Vectorworks BIM capabilities to model the existing site and then test various locations on the property that would both be able to hold the volume of water that was necessary and also have the aesthetic attributes that my client was looking for. So we looked at soil volumes, we looked at the holding capacity of the pond, we looked at placement, view angles, elevation, and so on. None of my clients really know that I'm using BIM is not something that I really put out there, particularly to my residential clients, because this isn't on their radar. I'm delivering something valuable to them a lot faster than I think my competitors are able to do it. I'm using BIM to deliver that information to them. They're happy about it, and whether or not they know that I'm using that technology on their project, they know the product that they're getting and the timeliness in which they're receiving it. Using BIM with Vectorworks uh, is like a force multiplier for me. I'm a firm of one, which means I'm wearing all the hats. I am being the creative person, I'm being the, the front person with the client, and I'm also doing all of the backroom production as well. Uh, whatever unfair advantage I can get by using a BIM, I'm absolutely going to take it.